The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi, everyone. Um, thank you for joining us today. Before we get started, we want to make sure that you can hear us okay. So if you can raise your hand, that lets us know that you can hear me speaking right now. Great. Thank you. And if you want to lower your hand, then we know that you aren't um, wanting to speak at this point in time. We'll call for that in a minute. <clears throat> uh, it is February 25th, 2021, and the time is 9.01 a.m. Welcome and thank you for attending the State Board of Psychologist Examiners and State Board of Addiction Counselor Examiners stakeholder meeting via webinar today. Before we get started, we would like to introduce the staff members from the Division of Professions and Occupations that are present. My name is Darcy Magnuson and I am a regulatory analyst with the Division. Also on the line today is Elena Kemp, a regulatory coordinator. We will be facilitating this stakeholder meeting. In compliance with the governor's orders regarding COVID-19, the division has transitioned to a platform that is 100% virtual, and we appreciate your flexibility. As many of you have been to DORA stakeholder meetings before, we would like to reiterate the importance of your comments today. DORA makes decisions every day that may affect your life and your business, so your input is vital in the rulemaking process. Throughout this process, our goal is to create regulations that clarify and explain legislation, ensure minimum competency to enter and continue to practice, and provide only what is, excuse me, absolutely necessary for consumer protection without creating unnecessary barriers to the marketplace. Your input will be part of the information that goes to the board as they consider adopting revisions to Rule 1.6a to implement Colorado House Bill 19-1129, prohibiting mental health care providers from engaging in conversion therapy with a patient under 18 years of age. This meeting is being recorded and will be posted on each board's website by the close of business tomorrow. As the stakeholder meeting is held solely by webinar, please raise your hand by using the hand icon if you would like to speak and we will unmute your line so you'll be heard by everyone. Or you can type your comment in the question section and we will read it aloud. Before we start taking comments, I want to ask that anyone providing comments, please state your name and who you represent. Feel free to provide either general comments on the proposed rule changes or specific comments on the proposed language. Please limit your comments to no more than three to five minutes and try not to repeat something that was already said. Stating you're in full agreement with someone else works just fine and will be noted. Since this is a joint stakeholder meeting, it would also be helpful if you can say if you are a licensee, which board you're licensed under um, so that we can direct your comments accordingly. If you are using the audio through your computer, please remember to put, a, uh, put any phones on vibrate or turn them off. And whether you are using computer or phone audio, try to keep background noises to a minimum when speaking. So at this point in time, um, we will re ask for anyone who wants to provide feedback on the proposed draft changes that you are seeing on the screen right now. Um, the changes are the same for addiction counselors and for psychologists. So what you're seeing uh, would be the same proposed changes for both boards. So again, if anyone has any feedback or would like to speak, now is your opportunity. You can raise your hand and we'll unmute your line. Um, and I see we have one hand raised. Dr. Rio Leslie, you are unmuted on our end. Looks like you're clear to speak. Hey, thank you. Good morning. Uh, Dr. Rio Leslie, President, Colorado Mental Health Professionals Association, Director, Colorado School for Family Therapy. I won't need three minutes. I just like to speak in uh, support of the language uh, during the time that this bill navigated through the Colorado General Assembly, took four years to pass. I wouldn't testify on its behalf. I'm happy to see it finally reached this point of rulemaking and just want to again state my support for the work the DOOR staff has done and the language in the rules. Thank you, Dr. Leslie. You're welcome, Darcy. And I also wanted to just note for the record that the program director, Raina Barbara Gordon, is also on the line today.
So we'll just pause for a little bit and give people a chance to speak if you want to do so. Um, I'm not seeing any raised hands, and it doesn't appear that the comments that we received are related to the rulemaking. Um, so we'll just wait a couple minutes to give people a chance to participate if you would like to do so. Okay, still not seeing any raised hands. Um, if anyone just joined us, I wanted to let you know this is your chance to provide um, stakeholder feedback regarding the proposed changes that will then be sent to the State Board of Psychologist Examiners and State Board of Addiction Counselor Examiners. Alrighty. Um, I don't see anyone else who either has a hand raised or we don't we haven't received any other written comments, so I'll go ahead and wrap the meeting up at this point in time. Um, thank you for participating in today's meeting. As part of this collaborative process, all written and oral comments will be provided to each respective board before the permanent rulemaking hearings. The permanent rulemaking hearings are tentatively scheduled on April 2nd, 2021 for the psychologists and April 6, 2021 for the addiction counselors. Please remember you're always welcome to submit written comments as well. And the email address is dora underscore dpo underscore rulemaking at state.co.us. And those written comments are provided to the board in advance of the hearing. That concludes the stakeholder meeting and thank you again for your participation. We are going to end the webinar now. <clears throat> There's oh. never mind.